Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Doing great. I'm glad to see you. Hello, teacher. Hi. Wait one second. Glad I'm on, to see you too. I'm on the platform making you aware that we already started the session. Um, somebody was asking me if we will always use the same um, Zoom ID, the meeting ID, yes. It will always be the same throughout the whole classes, okay. Okay, guys, we're gonna fly tonight. We have a lot to cover, so let's work on that. So, to start up, I will ask you one more time. How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Eleonora, better now? Um, hello, teacher. Yes, there you are. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> How, how's it going, Eleonora? Um, good, teacher. I'm very good. And Excellent. You? I'm awesome. I am awesome. <laughs> okay. It's the attitude. Okay. Awesome. Incredible. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Delmi Hernandez. How's it going? Okay. She's connecting the audio still. Okay, guys. I know we were still missing some of you last night to talk. So today you're gonna talk, 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 okay? A lot. But first, we're gonna watch a video from the platform, in case you didn't watch it yet, which is the first topic. And give me one second, I have to do something. For example, I could tell you, uh, is it very hot in your house? Is it very, hot very will be the adverb and hot is the adjective right the same thing if i tell you i am too handsome so the same thing right um <laughs> too handsome okay like the song right the 90s song um too sexy for love remember i'm too sexy Okay, same thing. If I tell you it's, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. So you have so, which is the adverb, and hungry, okay, is the adjective. The same thing if I use very. Th there's no distinction between so and very, okay? It's the same thing. I'm very hungry, okay? Um, she is very tall. He is very tall, okay? That's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start. There is a video on your platform that talks about this topic. But first, we will introduce the topic with a conversation. It's a very exciting place. Please pay attention. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, I will repeat the conversation, make an emphasis on the pronunciation. Please pay attention and look at my ugly mouth, okay? 
So let me see, yes, okay. So, so where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. One more time. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm, in San Juan. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, do you have any questions with this conversation? Vocabulary. Teacher, what is the meaning of? Teacher, how do you say, how do you pronounce? Mm -hmm. uh, no? Está claro todo, chicos. What does it mean, teacher, fairly? Thank you. Casi. What is... What is the meaning of fairly? Almost, yes, casi, almost. Okay. It has to do with almost, where is it, fairly? Oh, it's a fairly big city. Suficiente, casi. Mm -hmm. Suficientemente grande, ciudad suficientemente grande. Okay, fairly, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other? That's it? Okay, so if you got it, I will split the class. I will split the class in groups so we can all practice. I will send the conversation to the WhatsApp group right now. So one of you will be Eric and another person will be Carmen, Eric and Carmen. So we're gonna role play, okay? Let's role play for a few minutes, okay? Got it? Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, guys, please practice. Okay. I will go there on each group. Yep, okay. Please accept the invitation on your cell phone or computer. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, Marily. <laughs> uh, hi, Rudy. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, the conversation, no, no me aparece. <laughs> A mí tampoco. Es que yeah. como yo desde el celular, entonces uh -huh. no tengo acceso. Vamos a ver aquí. Oh, está en el grupo de WhatsApp, dice. Pero para poderlo ver, no, no voy a poder. 
Ah. Hay, hay un botón, uno de los tres botones de función de su celular para saltar entre ventanas. Entonces ese botón tiene que seleccionar. Son tres rayitas usualmente que le permiten saltar entre aplicaciones que tiene abiertas. No. Solo me sale la foto de un niño. Ok. Ok, si usted uh, se sale de todas las aplicaciones, puede que su celular tenga un botón con el que cierra todas las aplicaciones, Marilyn. Sí. Ah, pues oprima ese botón. Ay, me voy al WhatsApp. Ahora se va al WhatsApp, ajá, y en el grupo Pensé va a estar. Que iba a Pensé que iba a cortar el enlace. No, ahora para volver a, a Zoom, tiene que deslizar su dedo desde arriba hacia abajo de su pantalla. Y va a poder encontrar la aplicación de Zoom ahí minimizada. Ay, sí, ya. Gracias. Excelente. Ok, guys. Let's practice. Vuelvo con ustedes, ok? Thank you. Ok. Yo... Sí. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches used of the city. It's expensive there? Come in, no, it's not very expensive. Price is pretty reasonable. How big is that city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Can change now? Eric, hi. You? See? You will continue, Nuria, with okay, Veronica? Okay, okay. I'm going to be Carmen, Veronica. Could you okay. be Eric? Eric. Okay. Okay. So, so, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I heard that's a really, that's a really nice city. Yeah, it's it. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are very, are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, repeat, Janet. Beaches. Beaches. Yeah, there's a difference between ch, -ch, -ch and sh, -sh, sh Okay. Beaches. beaches. Let me turn on my camera, sorry. Okay, so yes, this, you say beaches, beaches, beaches. Beaches. No, no, no. Beaches. 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 Mm -hmm. beaches. 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 Beach. Beaches. Beach. Beaches. Okay. The letter S. Um, sí, hay una diferencia, en la, una diferencia entre la CH y la SH, right? So you say shoe, for example. Okay. You say hmm, hmm. shower. You say shower, not shower. But you say okay. teacher, teacher, not t-shirt. T-shirt, okay? okay? So in this case, it's beaches, okay? The city, uh, el artículo T-H-E se pronuncia the antes de una consonante, Nuria? The, the. Y cuando está antes the, de, the. yeah, y cuando está antes de una vocal decimos the. For example, the United States of America, okay? okay. The okay. Apple, the Apple, the Union, Mm, yeah. Okay. Vamos. Okay. And okay. you say Puerto Rico. Okay. I know. Oh, okay. I know some Latin American people in the States, they say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. I have heard that. <laughs> I have heard that yeah. pronunciation. My brother's wife is from Santo Domingo, and that's the way she says it. She, she says, um, Puerto Rico, chico. Puerto Rico, chico. So, different. Okay. <laughs> Now, listen. Okay. Listen to the difference. Listen to the difference. You say, is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Or do you say, is it, is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? You join 
the T. Cuando la T está entre dos vocales, se convierte en una R. Ok, so, is it expensive? Is it expensive there? Ok. Is it expensive there? Ok. Is it expensive there? Sounds okay. better. It sounds better, right? Yeah. Yeah, it okay. sounds better, teacher. Ok. Yeah. Watch the video later, again, to, to, to hear this part. Is it expensive? Ok. okay. It, do it again. Do it again. Um, I'm Carmen. Okay. Nobody hold. Ah, Janet. Expensive. Uh, no sé si es expensive or expensive. No, expensive. 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 Uh, uh -huh. Okay. You say expensive. Again, expensive. La la v. Expensive. <laughs> ¿Eh? Expensive. Sí. Toda palabra que termine en V, E. La E es muda y se, se dice la V. No estamos acostumbrados. Por ejemplo, Thank decimos you. vaca, Víctor, y no vaca, Víctor. ¿Ya? Yeah? Es que la, 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 la pronunciamos con cualquiera de las dos Exacto. <laughs> so, ese es el error. Hay que acostumbrarnos uh -huh. ahora, acostumbrar a la boca, a morder el labio inferior. Sí. Es decir, que vibre el labio inferior. So you have, you have expensive drive. Okay. He escuchado, he escuchado que los españoles bien cabal se les entiende que hasta con qué letra va escrito. Bro. Same thing. Let's sí. get, let's get used to. Okay, guys. One, two, three, go. Expensive. Expensive. Okay, let's let's role play. I have Eric and Carmen. One, two, three, action. So, we are where are you from, Carmen? I'm I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I hear that that's a really nice city. Yeah, you see, the weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is expensive there? No. Not, not, it's not very expensive. expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It's up to me. May I should plan a trip there some. Okay, okay. Yo. Yeah, do it again. So, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I hear, I heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, he said that the weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. It is, is it, is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Price are pretty reasonable. How big, how big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Excellent. Okay, let's do this together, guys. So if you look at the chat, I made some corrections there. Somebody said, I've heard. I've no, heard. Yeah, you say, I've heard. Now, look. I've heard. Look, I've, 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 look at me. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. Yeah, you have the V. Tienen la V contractada. El, el have, have contractado. So, eso I've, se dice I've, 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 I've heard. De, excelente, Caro. Ok, ahora, siguiente la, la siguiente palabra, Caro. Weather. 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 The, repeat, the weather. The, the weather. weather. The, the weather. weather. The weather. The weather. The weather. The weather. Perfect. Ahora, escuchen la diferencia. Is it expensive there? O 
Is it expensive there? Is it, is it, is it expensive there? Repeat, is it expensive there? Is it, it is expensive, expensive there. Bien, la regla Thank dice you. que si tengo una T entre vocales, mm. la T so, suena como R, R, mm. ok? So, is it, is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Good, Carol. Carolina, sorry. Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Vamos a hacerlo despacio. Is okay. it? Repeat. Is it? it is it expensive? Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Casi, casi. Is it? Is it expensive? Is it? Is it expensive there? Te de tu hizo. Okay. Is it? Ex, is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Very good. Okay, te recomiendo ver el video de esta sesión para que repitas y repitas esa parte, pero va súper bien. Next word, reasonable. La L es tres, el estrés cae en la primera sílaba, que sería R-E-A. Re, reasonable. 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 Excellent. Reasonable. Very good. Next word, barely. Lo mismo, cae el estrés sobre la primera, sobre la primera barely. parte. Barely. 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 Okay. Suena como con T, teacher. Fe, ajá. Uh -huh. Fairly. 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 Ok. Fairly. Sounds perfect. Ojo, sounds perfect. Sounds. Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. Ok, let's sounds go. Perfect. perfect. Let's go, guys. I can listen you. <laughs> Were you reading my lips? Did you read my lips? No? Okay. I was telling you, English is about repetition. And you need to have someone in front of you moving its mouth, articulating every single word. Okay, and try to try to mimic, mimic with your lips. Okay, if possible, go to the mirror, the mirror, <laughs> and repeat the words, words. You see, so you articulate the same way. My lips are moved, the same way. You have to move your lips. Look, move. Yeah, good. Always practice that way. So let's continue, guys. There's a lot to see um, in this unit. So if you noticed on that lesson, there are adverbs before adjectives. So let's find the adverbs and the adjectives, shall we? Okay, let me go back. Okay, let's continue and part the next part of the session is basically the explanation of how to use the adverbs before adjectives. Pay attention. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. 
It's too noisy and it's too... Let us start. Another verb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means we also have the adverb chart. Okay, um, I thought she was going to stop and give some examples. Okay, so this is from the most to the least. Can somebody tell me what's the meaning of the most to the least? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, what's the meaning of the most to the least? Extremely. Again, Salomon? Extremely. Ex el, el extremo eh, oh no sí pero qué quiere decir esto que está organizado from the most to the least de mayor a menor perfect Kike very good yes you have from the most extremely as as um, yeah as you said extremadamente extremadamente then you have very what is very muy muy very good. Really? Realmente. Realmente. Uh -huh. What? Again? Bastante, right? You can translate it as bastante too. Pretty? What is pretty? Uh, boni bonita. Es como mucho. Mucho. Uh, muy. Como mucho. Como muy... Ojo, ojo, vamos en disminución. Extremadamente, muy, oh. realmente. Aquí sería como algo. Okay. Más, medio. Al, algo. Medio. Más o menos. Más o menos, ajá. Fairly es justo. Justo, lo justo. O lo suficiente. Yeah, fairly. Ok. And somewhat es algo. Somewhat. Okay, is someone hot? Is somewhat hot? I could tell you, is somewhat, somewhat hot. Carolina is somewhat pretty. <gasps> okay, good. Okay, <laughs> it's different. If I say <laughs> Carolina is extremely, extremely pretty. Okay, estos adverbios son de, de se pusieron atención para darle fuerza a los adjetivos, yeah? To, to make the adjectives strong stronger okay so you got it okay. extremadamente muy realmente okay. mm -hmm. Bast um, lo suficiente digamos y ese sería lo justo justamente okay somewhat is algo okay let's move on notice they're organized from the most to the least we also have the adverb do, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Okay, who understood that part? Did you understand that part? No. Okay, so do means too much. Tú mucho. significa mucho, mm. excelente, o oh, demasiado, too much. Okay, so se ocupan oraciones negativas. This dress is too big for me. Como resultado, the dress won't fit me. The dress won't fit me. ¿Qué sería, chicas? No me, 
No me talla. Excelente, Verónica. No me talla. Excellent. No me talla. Ok. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Okay. Did you get it? ¿Se entendieron la misión ahorita? What's your mission? I didn't got it, teacher. Okay. Okay, so estamos hablando de adverbios y adjetivos. ¿Cuáles son los adverbios que ustedes conocen? Uh, frequency adverb. Frequency adverbs. Ahora, los que vimos en la clase, ¿cuáles eran? Uh, very extremely. Ok, let's repeat them. Very. Ok. Extremely. Ex extremely. Repeat extremely. Extremely. Mm -hmm. extremely. Sorry, I'm missing the E here. Really? Okay. What? Again? Really? 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 Okay. Fairly. 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 Very. Uh -huh. uh, no. Fairly. Very. Very. Oh, very. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty. Está very, ¿verdad? Right? Okay, good. Uh -huh. And somewhat. 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 Okay. So, the point is that you need to use any of these adverbs before an adjective, the way I did, okay? Vanessa is very smart, okay? For example, so we need a, a subject, Vanessa. The verb to be is, okay, very smart, smart, okay? Will be the adjective. And remember, adjectives qualify the nouns, adjectives qualify the nouns. In this case, an adjective describes the noun, okay? I could say it is extremely hot today. It, it is extremely hot today, it is. It's extremely hot today, okay? Can somebody help me, Vani, or someone else? Let's use really. Bloody. Uh, uh, for yeah. example. Kike, kike, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, really, I have a hungry. Hmm. Okay. When you talk about being hungry, you use the verb to be. I'm um, um, really, really hungry. hungry. I'm really hum uh -huh. Oh, sorry. I'm really hungry. Really. I'm very hungry. I'm so hungry. That's another one. I'm mm -hmm. so hungry. Okay, I'm really hungry, okay? Let's go with fairly. My dog is fairly crazy. <laughs> okay, my dog is fairly crazy. Okay, my dog is fairly crazy. Está lo bastantemente loco, mi perro. Okay, good. It's fairly crazy. Okay. Okay. She's a pretty woman. Okay. As a song. Okay. Let's look at the word pretty. How do you spell pretty? And how do you spell pretty in this case as an adverb? Is that the same spelling? Google it. Come on. OK. 
A. Are you looking at my screen right now? Yes. Yes. You yes. see the, the translator here? Yes. Okay, it's the same spelling. You see? Uh -huh. The same spelling. So one question. Could you say she is pretty pretty? <laughs> yes, you can say she is pretty pretty. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate, but you can say it. She's pretty pretty. Ella es bastante bonita. Suficientemente bonita. Okay, ella es bastante bonita. Now you see that the, this thing is trying to correct me because it's, it's taking it as a repeated word. Okay, it's pretty pretty. I could say he is pretty handsome. Okay, let's say the teacher, the teacher is pretty handsome, for example. It's just an example. Okay. Egocentric, right? He's an egocentric. Okay, the teacher is pretty handsome. It's pretty ugly, okay, let's say pretty ugly, okay. The teacher is pretty ugly, okay, good. Okay, uh-huh, let's move on. The class is somewhat, what? Boring? It's somewhat interesting. Interesting, okay, I like that, interesting. I always make that mistake because of the pronunciation. Interesting. Interesting. Intre. Interesting. Are you good? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. She is so what? She is so adjective? Beautiful. Beautiful. She's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. She is so beautiful. Somewhat interesting, pretty ugly, fairly crazy, really hungry, extremely hot, very smart. Okay, so you see, adverb, adverb, adverb. That's the point of this class. Make sure you understand that before an adjective, you have an adverb. Okay, hot, hungry, crazy. Ugly, interesting, beautiful. And these are adjectives. Got it? Got it. Yes. That's the whole point. How to use adverbs with adjectives. Still copying? Una pregunta, teacher. Yeah. <clears throat> Estos son adverbios eh, de qué? Esos solo son, um, bueno, son adverbios para hacer más fuertes los adjetivos. Ah, ¿qué, por no ejemplo, son de cantidad, teacher. De, no, aumentativos. No son cuantitativos. Uh -huh. They're not quantifiers. They're just... Pero conocía, por ejemplo, yo conocía los adverbios de, de tiempo, eh, de, yeah. perdón, de frecuencia. Frequency adverbs, the uh, uh -huh. quantifiers. The quantifiers uh -huh. are very common. Pero estos no sé cómo casi, cómo... These are cómo called explicar. strong, strong Strong adverbs. Okay. Strong adverbs. Es difícil encontrarlos en Google. De hecho, buscar una mm. información sobre ellos como very, too, so, much. It's not easy. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move on. Now, the next. Oh, okay. So, you need to practice that part. Make sure you do exercises. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, let's move on. Okay. So, you're supposed to make your own examples. Can somebody give me another example with very too much? So, mm -hmm. okay. What adjective will you use to describe this, this speaker? Mm -hmm. Sorry. 
Bluetooth mode. Okay. So what adjective will you use to describe this speaker? It's very noisy. Very noisy. It's very noisy. I like that. It's very noisy. Okay. Red. It's red. It's red. Now use an adverb to say something. It's very red. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh huh. That's the point. It's very red. It's small. It's very small. Okay. Very small. Too small. Too yes. small. Okay. It's really functional. It is really functional. functional. It's very functional. It's really functional. Yes. And it is actually. It has it has a USB, it has an SD card, it has radio, Bluetooth, and auxiliary. So it is very functional. Very good. It's very good. <laughs> okay. Okay, give me another example. Grab grab something around you. Grab something around you. Vanessa, is, grab your brother. Grab your brother and tell. He's very ugly. Okay, your brother, I don't know, somebody. <laughs> uh, he's very, I don't know, he's very, very lazy. He's very lazy, good. He's very jealous, my brother is very jealous. You see? Okay. Boris, come on, somebody. My son is very, very smart. That's good. Well, my son is is very, is too hyper. My son is too hyper all the time. My brother is very tall. Perfect. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Simple yeah, as that. Sure. Just adding that adverb before the adjectives, okay? Let's continue. Okay, now let's talk about conjunctions. What are conjunctions? You have an idea? Um, conjunction. 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 Joke, joke. Mm -hmm. What are conjunctions? Uh, I don't know. In Spanish? Yeah, in Spanish. Palabras que unen una o varias ideas. Conectores. Connectors. Perfect. Yes, let's pay attention. See you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay, can somebody paraphrase what she said. Alguien puede parafrasear lo que acaba de decir. Uh, oh my God, I forgot her name. I'm sorry if you're watching this video. Mm -hmm. Jessica, what Jessica just said. Can you repeat what she said? What? It, what? When do we use end? When do we use end? The connector. When para unir. Join, join two. Perfect, Hector. Yes, when you want to join two ideas. But positive. Positive, positive. or or negative. Negative. Both. Both. Yes. Both. The city is ugly and small. Two negative ideas, right? It's ugly and small. Now, Canada. Okay. Is big, is a big country, and very clean. Two positive ideas, right? Hmm. Two negative ideas, two positive ideas. 
Yeah, you can use both ways. Got it, okay. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one and it goes in the middle of a sentence and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have... Okay, again. So, but. What's the meaning of but? Pero. Pero. Excellent. Never say boot. Okay. Yeah, but. But. Okay. The park is clean. Coma. But it is very small. So you're giving extra information, right? Or a negative idea. That's the point. When you say but, it's the same in Spanish. Okay. I love you, but I'm married. <laughs> For example, <laughs> as an example, right? Okay, uh, the food is good, but it is very expensive. Okay, I like you, but as a friend, <laughs> right, girls? Uh -huh. I like you, but as a friend. Okay, that's an example. Positive, negative. Absolutely. It's clear, right? I okay. have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in a discussion box. They okay. What did you understand? What is though? What is however? Um, sin embargo. Excellent. Sin embargo. sin embargo. Though. Okay. Aunque. However. Both both mean sin embargo, right? Aunque. aunque. Though. Aunque. However. Sin embargo. Okay. So it is a big city. It's a big city. It's not too crowded though. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning? Can somebody translate one? Try to translate. It's a big city. It's not too crowded though. It's not too crowded. What is Aunque no es muy concurrida. Yeah. O populosa. Cuche. Ah. Yeah, in Salvadorian, you say cuche. Teacher, pero uh, casi no se logra ver la... Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, la, the video quality. Okay, you. so it says it's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. though. Con mucho crecimiento. No, es muy... no, crowd, without the EV, crowd means uh, mm. concurrido. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Concurrido. Concurrido, topado de gente, cuche, como decimos en el salvadoreño. Eh. It's crowded. It's crowded. Metro Centro is crowded right now. Okay. He's really good looking. He's not nice. However. Okay. Él es Teacher, bastante... I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't understand so. What does it mean so in Spanish? What's the meaning of to? Uh-huh. Okay, what is the meaning of though, Ronald? Aunque. 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 Uh, okay, thank aún. you. Yeah, the both is like, aún sin embargo. Aunque. A pesar de. Ah, okay. Yeah, these are connectors. Okay. okay, so don't forget, go to the discussion forums here and add a post to the discussion, okay? Conjunctions. Okay and try to make a sentence. Can somebody make a sentence using the and end? For example, it's raining. 
and it's very hot. Let's combine both things that we have seen today. So it's raining and it's very hot. Okay, another one. Oh, what am I missing here? The comma, right? Yes. It's raining and it's very hot. Okay, another one. Using the. Using. The. Be careful with the and thought. Right? The, thought. They have similar spelling. Okay, what was the example? I got lost with the too. Oh yeah, there's, there's, look at the punctuation. You have two ideas and one is positive and the other one is negative. I have money. This was a bad year though, for example. Okay. I have money. This was a bad year. Oh, year though. This was a bad year though. Mm -hmm. And there you get, there you go. Then you get submit and this will go to the discussion forum so you can follow the examples, okay? If you open it, you will see it in negritas, supposedly. Okay, you got it? Do you understand this, uh, how to use the conjunctions? More or less. Yes, I understand. More or less. But I have a question. Yes, a question. 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 There you go, question. question. Better. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the first video, uh, what will we do? You will do adverbs before adjectives. Very nice. Too hot. In the first and the second, the, con the con conjunctions, the Conjunction. connectors, the connectors. Okay. okay. So, for example, let me give you an example of connectors and I will send you this to your, well, let's stay with those connectors on the class, okay? But just to give you an okay. idea, just to give you an idea, connectors are a lot. I mean, there's a lot of connectors. Okay. I will send this to your WhatsApp holder. This is very useful in real life. I didn't have, I have nothing, I had nothing to do one time. So I started translating all of the connectors. Can you see them? You can see them on your chat. Okay, for example, there's a lot of connectors, you see? So there are, Addition connectors, for example, okay, comparison, contrast, and these are the ones that we're using right now. Look, though, however, nevertheless, on the other hand, on the contrary, even so, okay, and you have even though as well, even though, and it means the same, it's the same thing, otherwise, on contrary, instead, oh, instead, nonetheless, you have of time, meanwhile, at last, finally, immediately, okay, thereafter. This is like when you're telling a story, okay? Meanwhile, the teacher kept talking, and at last, okay, at last, he said, that immediately after the class, <laughs> okay, and so on. You can continue. Okay, then you have- It's a lot. It's a lot, they are a lot. Result, hence, therefore, accordingly. Summary, in short, in the whole, in other words, to be sure. Example, 
for example, for instance, that is such as in particular in place. There, here, beyond, nearby, next to. Okay. I sent okay. you I send you this, this image to your group. This is just extra, okay? This is just extra information. But okay. in order to use the platform, on the platform, you will only see the ones that we talked about. What were the ones? And the uh -huh. however oh, however but, however but, uh -huh. but that's it four but but <laughs> but <laughs> and yeah and even that word but. even that word is but 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 okay do you okay, have any teacher. any questions mm. questions, Not questions. Sure. no you sure no Richard, I have a question. Yes, Vanessa. Eh, en Taut, eh, no me queda claro si solamente se puede utilizar al final o se puede utilizar también al medio o al inicio. En literatura inglesa vas a encontrar do al principio de las oraciones, pero en, en americano se ocupa al final. Ojo, va una coma antes de eh, la, la conjunction del conector. ¿Se fijaron? Siempre una coma antes de empezar a agregar los conectores. Mm -hmm. En estos ejemplos, but, and, however, and um, the. So, the and however, Vanessa, van al final de la oración. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, any other question? Uh, a teacher, una pregunta, pero en, en la plataforma, en uno de los ejercicios, para que nosotros podamos desarrollarlo, si el ejemplo que nos da, tanto Tao como However no lo usan al final, no que a media oración. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, bueno, no sé si estoy en un error, pero eh, eh, a mí me salieron en error así, porque cuando los leí en los ejemplos vi que estaban a, en, a mediación después de inmediatamente de la coma. Hmm. Bueno, no eh, sé si me estoy equivocando. Sí, sí, está en el final. Uh -huh. For example, por ejemplo, tienes, sí, tienes, por ejemplo, la segunda. The streets are crowded, period. It's easy to get around, coma, though. So, again, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around, though. Okay. Y en la, cuat, la tres dice, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however. Yes. Mm -hmm. sí. Bueno, Estos bueno, dos son los que tienen do and however. Pero igual, si tienen algún problema con los ejercicios, escríbanme directamente y yo con gusto les ayudo, ¿ok? De acuerdo. Ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Have a good night. Please sleep tight. Ok. Yes. Good night, too. Good, good night. night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.